Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to program the Super IO chip, like this one in my hand. This is a Lenovo IT8 226E. I have just installed one on my Lenovo board, motherboard, and I have connected my programmer, this one. Today I will show you how to program it and how to use this programmer and the software to program a new chip like this one. There is different types of super IO chips like like uh, ENE, ITE and also Neuvaton chips like this found in um, laptop motherboards so if you have a faulty one like this one and you need to replace it then you need to, re to reprogram it now I'll show you how to program it using this programmer I have so first I need to connect the program to my computer okay then I need to go to my chip. I have ITE chip, this one. Then I need to select my motherboard from here. My motherboard name is NM-B191, this one. Okay, then I, w I have to choose the connector type the keyboard connector and also I have to flip my flat cable is connected I want to show you this the connector on my motherboard number one is from here and number 32 is here but in the programmer number 32 is here and number one is here so I need to flip it in the software so I need to flip this toggle switch okay now it's flipped then I have to send this settings to the programmer okay so it now it's sent uh, settings sent successfully as it says in here it says here check GND I have to connect the USB cable from my motherboard to the programmer just for the ground connection. It says here connect the motherboard power adapter. This step should be after I click the check connection button in here. When I connect, when I click this check connection box, I have to connect the power adapter within five seconds okay now I will click uh, this check connection and I will connect the power adapter okay as you can see in here it recognized my my chip it's 8226 as I said so what I need to do now is write a new, uh, new file to my new chip. I have the file in here, so this one it is. Okay. So now it's erasing the old files. And now it's writing. This will take a bit long.
writing is complete and now it's verifying now it's finished this should go to 100% but I don't know why it's not going on this specific port only in this one but it's successfully uh, programmed I will show you when I fit it on the laptop okay so I fit the motherboard to the laptop I connected everything except the battery connector so let's connect the charger adapter and let's try it okay as you can see it works everything is okay so I need to connect the hard disk and job is done thank you so much see you in another video